Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Game Maker Rob, and in this tutorial, we are going to be creating RPG movement just like this. Let's get into it. So before we start, I have um, I've made a quick room, just using some tiles. Uh, there's not going to be any collision detection in this tutorial. I've already done a video on that. Uh, that video will work very well, very well with this one. And I have eight sprites for the player. Uh, four of them have three images for walking and four of them are just idle single animations. Alright so the first thing we are going to need is a player object. Let's call it OBJ player and we're going to give him the idle down sprite for now and before we start we're going to add him into the room Otherwise, I'm going to forget. There we go. So, in the step event, we're going to get some basic basic movement down. Uh, we're going to say if keyboard check VK up Y minus equal to 16. 16 is the size of my tiles. Copy this. So we've got down, left, right. And now we want to assign some sprites. So we'll say sprite index equals SPR walk up. And then we're going to say if x equals x previous and y equals y previous, then he hasn't moved since the last step. So then we're going to say if sprite index is equal to SPR walk up. Then sprite index equals SPR idle up. Oops. So if we just run the game, just to make sure there's no basic errors. So right now he moves really quickly and you don't really see him um, animating because there's literally hardly any time between moving and not moving. So now let's refine this into a, a proper RPG movement. So now in the create event, we want to say can move equals true. Uh, this starts player moving too fast and step speed equals two. how fast the player moves between tiles. 
target x equals x and target y equals y is where we're moving to. So now we have these four variables. Uh, we can change this. So we're going to say target x equals x, target y equals y minus 16, target x equals x, target y equals y plus 16, and then here target x equals x minus 16, target y equals y, and then target x equals x plus 16, target y equals y, and last of all, can move equals false, just put that in every piece okay so now we need to say if x is not equal to target x or y is not equal to target y then if x is less than target x x plus equal to step speed if x is greater than target x, x minus equal to step speed. And it's going to be the same for the y. So if y is less than target y, then y plus equal. And if y is greater than target y, then x minus equals step speed. Else, if you don't need to type this, but I like to do it just to make things clearer to myself. If x is equal to target x and y is equal to target y. Oops, bring that. Then, and only then, can the plane move again? And we also want to put in the idle sprites here as well. So if, you, if you don't move anymore, then you're going to change to an idle, idle sprite. Delete this. Well, one important thing we've got to do is to say if can move because we will only want to accept player input when he's when he's completed his journey so your code should look like this now and if we run the game we should have some RPG movement. And if you just tap a button, he'll move one square. If you hold it down, he'll just keep moving. There we go.